Good afternoon! Welcome back to our J12 Online Sunday School. And Kuya Toto is so happy to once again welcome you. As we start, we will have first our checking of attendance. So kung nandyan ka, if you are around, I want you to do the things na sasabihin ko. So first up, nandyan ba si Miel and Yuna Tusoy? Miel and Yuna, if you are there, can you clap your hands three times? Okay? One, two, three. Very good. Thank you, Miel. How about Dustin Ray B. Manos? Dustin, are you there? If you're there, can you give me a thumbs up? Okay, very good. How about Camille Seplo? Kung ara ka Camille, no? Can you please stand on your feet and give me one salute? Okay, very good. How about Stanley Morales? Nandiyan ka ba, Stanley? If you are there, can you give me uh, a heart sign? Yan. Opa, puso niya ka. Next, how about Simon, Yuan, and Sian Hamir? If you are there, brothers, can you give uh, each one a group hug? Ayan, group hug muna, group hug. Okay, very good. How about Christine Dominic Mariano? Christine, nandiyan ka ba? Can you give me a three jumps? Okay, count with me. Go. One, two, three. Very good. How about Janelle Susvilia and Rodzeli Susvilia and Anastasia Susvilia? Kung nandiyan kayo, can you give each other a high five? High five. Okay, very good. How about Chivas Adrian Del Carmen? Kung nandiyan ka Chivas Adrian Del Carmen, can you give me three claps? Okay, very good. One, two, three. How about Anton Gerard Gayola and Angela Faith Batilia? If both of you are present, can you give each one a high five? Okay, high five. Very good. How about Dwayne Isaac B. Ambalo? Nandiyan ka ba, Dwayne? If you are there, can you give me one salute? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. How about Margaret, Daniel, Timothy, and Francis? Kung nandiyan kayo, can you give a big group hug to each other? Okay, very good. So, kids, I want you to enjoy this day. Let's worship the Lord as you welcome Kuya Jude. I want you to dance, find your place, and let's enjoy the presence of God. God bless you.
Good afternoon. Welcome back again to our J12 celebration. I hope that you are doing fine and I hope you are still enjoying our J12 celebration. So for this afternoon, I would like you to be active and at the same time to be attentive. Is it okay? Alright, very good. So I have the chance to do the work for this afternoon. So, hindi na natin patatagalin pa. Let's pray. Let's bow down our head and close our eyes. And then, we'll pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much for this afternoon. Thank you, Father God, for allowing us to attend our J12 Sunday celebration. Bless us with a heart that is willing to learn and that is willing to receive our portion. Guide us and be with us. Thank you for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, before we will proceed, kindly high-five the person next to you. Ayan, bigyan mo naman siya ng high-five. And syempre, bigyan mo na isang pinakamatamis mong ngiti. Wear your beautiful smile. Alright, very good. So this afternoon, we will be listening to a very wonderful word coming from the Bible. Again, ang Bible ay ang salita ng Diyos na kung saan meron dalawang bahagi. Ito ay ang Old Testament at saka New Testament. And this afternoon, we will learn something new. Ayan, dahil malapit ng Christmas, excited na ba kayo? Alright! I hope that you are all excited despite of the things na nangyayari sa ating panahon. So, we will proceed now to our word. This is the story of how Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, was born. The story began in the place called Nazareth. Nazareth was a quiet little sleepy town for most people are farmers and shepherds. In this town, there was a young Jewish woman named Mary. She was a very obedient and God-fearing woman. She helped her parents in the field and doing house chores. She was kind and helpful to everyone and people liked her very much. Mary was going to get married to a good and honest man named Joseph. A few days before the marriage, he had a visitor. It was a very special guest, an angel sent by God from heaven, the holy angel named Gabriel, and called Mary to her sleep. When Mary opened her eyes, at first, she felt that she was dreaming, but later on, she heard the angel's voice and she realized that it was not a dream. Mary, do not be afraid. I am Gabriel. God has sent me to you. He loves you and you have been chosen for something very special. Your kind heart and pure soul is of great value to the Lord. You are fortunate that God has chosen you above everyone else for this special task. I'm not afraid. I'm honored to know that God has chosen me to carry out His wish. I am lucky to be a favor to God. Bless you, Mary. God is pleased with you. I have come to tell you that soon you will have a son. He will be a great king one day and he will be loved by everyone. He will be called the Son of God. Mary was at first shocked what Gabriel said. However, she remained calm and listened to everything that the angel had spoken. Then she spoke to Gabriel. But how is this possible? I'm not yet married. Do not be afraid, Mary. The Spirit of the Lord will take over you, and you will be blessed with a son. He will be called the Son of God. He will do great things for the people. He will be hailed as the King of Jews and the Savior of mankind. 
I am grateful for whatever the Lord has done for me. I am happy to have his wish come true through me. The Lord is with you, Mary. You are blessed. Go in peace. Gabriel then left the house and went to heaven. In a few days, Mary became pregnant. In those days, it was very unusual to a girl to get pregnant before Mary. However, Mary explained everything to Joseph about the angel and God's wish and to the son that they were going to have. Joseph was a good man and accepted everything. He married Mary in a few days. In those days, the king of the land announces the census. He wanted every citizen of his country to be documented. Since Joseph was actually from Bethlehem, he needed to go there to be counted. It was a long way from Nazareth. Joseph and Mary had a long and long and difficult journey. There were no cars or other ways of transportation. He rode with donkey and Mary sat on a donkey and Joseph walked with barefoot. It was even more difficult to Mary because he, she is about to give birth to a baby. After many, many days of walking in the desert, and finally they reached Bethlehem. It was getting very dark in that particular town, and they desperately find a place to rest. And all the inns are full, and nobody allows them to spend at night. And Joseph walk around the town and knocking all the doors, one after another, and there are nobody to allow them to enter. Mary was about to give birth. Joseph and Mary feeling hopeless. After searching for a while, Joseph found an empty barn built for cows. There was a plenty of flesh straw there, and they managed to build for Mary. And later in the night, something magical happened. And Mary gave birth to a very beautiful boy. Joseph made a small bed of fresh straw in a manger and laid him there. It was a warm and comfortable and the baby felt happy. Mary is very happy that the predictions of angels was true. Jesus Christ, the Savior of this world, was born in a humble manger. That same night, when Joseph and Mary is looking for a place for a night, not very far away, two shepherds are looking to their fields for their sheep. Suddenly, they are blinded by the great light coming from the sky. They open their eyes and they finally, they finally found a beautiful angel and a long, beautiful golden hair, shining, shimmering in gold dress, and sparkled in the moonlight. The shepherds did not know how to react. They are amazed. And the angel spoke to them. Do not be afraid. I have come to give you good news. Tonight, in the town of Bethlehem, a baby boy has been born. His name is Jesus. He will be known as the Savior of the world. You will know it is Jesus when you see a baby boy wrapped in a clothes in a manger. Go to the villages and let everybody know of this happy news. Let everybody know that Jesus, the Savior of the Jews, was born today. Go in peace now and spread the good news. The shepherds are happy at time. They were overjoyed to the fact that the Savior was born. And they go to Bethlehem to find Jesus, the King of the Jews, in a, was born in a humble manger. When they eventually found the baby in the manger in the Bethlehem, they praised Him and bowed down and worshipped. On the night that Jesus was born, there were three wise men 
who travels with their camels and past the deserts. Suddenly, a flash of lights coming from them, and they look up to the sky and saw a bright star. It was a kind of star that they have never seen before. The three wise men were aware that the prophecy of Jesus, that they are waiting for the star to appear, and then they saw it, and they are overjoyed. It means that the Savior of the world and the King of the Jews was born. At the time of Jesus Christ, the country was under the rule of King Herod. He was a very selfish and evil king. When the three wise men informed King Herod about the star they have seen and the mean, what, what it means, King Herod was afraid to lose his kingdom for that boy. He told the wise men to find the baby Jesus and let him know where the day was. Although the king informed the wise men in order to find the baby so that they could worship him, actually there was a plan that they would kill him. He feared that Jesus will grow and overpower him. The three wise men followed the stars for several days and found baby Jesus in the manger. They were surprised the future king of Jews laying down in the barn. They found the barn where Jesus was born. Finally, the stars stopped right over the manger. They smiled at Mary and bowed down in reverence to the new baby. They brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. These were very valid gifts given to the king. It was kindly unusual to give a precious things to a newborn baby. However, this was no ordinary baby, and the wise men fully understood the purpose of Jesus Christ. And so, now you know the story of the birth of Jesus and how the mighty Savior of the world was born and started his journey in this earth. The story shows us that the mighty things starts from a humble and small beginnings. Alright, we have already learned about the story of Jesus Christ. I know that you're all familiar about this, but I truly believe that you received something. Am I right? Okay, very good. So today, uh, to wrap up this story, let me share you something that is very valuable coming from that story. So first is, the very best gift that we could ever receive is Jesus Christ. Knowing that God sent him into this earth to fulfill God's vision. You know what? The moment that you receive Jesus Christ is the moment that you will allow yourself also to give that gift to a special person, to your family, to your friends, and to everybody. Ibig sabihin nun, si Jesus ang pinakamagandang regalo na ating matatanggap. Ngayon naman, dahil natanggap mo na si Jesus Christ, dahil pinadala siya ng Lord dito sa mundo, ikaw na naman ang may bagkakataon na ibahagi siya sa ibang tao. Are you excited? Alright, that is a great challenge for you. Dapat ma-share mo si Jesus sa ibang tao. Second thing is that, nagsimula si Jesus sa pagiging bata. Kagaya mo. So, in His humble beginning, Kagaya sa'yo, kahit bata ka lang, may magagawa ka. Hindi ka isang bata lang, kundi isa kang bata. So it's time for you to share Jesus to everybody. Jesus is the greatest gift that we could ever receive. And Jesus is the very best gift that we could offer to everybody. So, if excited ka na ibigay si Jesus, ipakilala si Jesus sa ibang tao, Umpisan mo sa pamilya mo, sa kaibigan mo, at sa mga kakilala mo. 
Thank you and have a nice day. God bless you. Hapon kids! So what we're going to do this afternoon is a simple lantern. Since nakita na natin kanina that there is a significance why star is being made during Christmas. So kaya nyo bang i-answer? Bakit? Okay, sige. Kung alam mo na, so I want you to see, I want to see your hands in a thumbs up position. Ayan, ganyan. So we are celebrating Christmas with a lantern or with a star kasi yun yung naging gabay ng three kings towards heading papunta kay Jesus. So every time na makakakita tayo ng star, always remember that that has been yung ano, yung naging palatandaan kung saan sila papunta. So they visited Jesus na, na nakita natin kanina that they visited Jesus and they're being guided by the star. And since malapit na ang Christmas, October na ngayon, two months from now, we will celebrate Christmas. So are you excited, no? So we will do more of our activities but for the meantime, tuturuan ko kayo on how to make your own paper lantern. Okay, so what you're going to need in order for you to make your lantern is six pieces of paper. You can also use colored papers. Okay, you'll be needing a scissor, scotch tape, and you will be also needing stapler. So if you have stapler in your house, please ask your parents for assistance and as, as well as sa paggamit natin ng gunting. Okay, very good. So if you're ready, can I hear three claps from you? Okay, very good. Yeah. So what you're going to do is to fold the bun paper or the colored paper into a triangle. Yan, nakikita mo sa video. So triangle. Pagkatapos, gugupitin natin yung sa bandang ibaba. Ayan. Next. If a fold or let into halves. Okay, very good. You're doing great. Ayan. So you make put a marking. Then, you open. Ayan. Close again. Pagkatapos, you need to cut. Ayan. Magkakat ka dyan using your scissor. Pero hindi ididin hanggang sa dulo. Just a portion. Ayan. Susundin lamang yung nasa video. Okay, very good. Ayan. So, nakikita na natin. So, you can open it now. So, see? Ayan. Ito na yung magiging first natin na side for our lantern. So, ang gagawin is holding the sketch tape. Ayan. Kailangan mo siyang sketch tape side Side to side. Ayan. Okay. Ididikit. Another side. Ayan. Itataob muna. Then, kuha ulit ng scotch tape. Ayan. So, tapos ididikit. Okay, very good. You're doing great. Pagkatapos ay... Itataob ulit. Ayan. So, we're actually on our third na pagdidikit ng ano, ng edge to edge. And lastly, yung bandang dulo. Okay, very good. Ayan. So, are you seeing something? Di ba? Maganda. So, that will be for one side. So, you need to repeat it again. Fold once more triangle, into triangle. Pagkatapos ay itutupi sa gitna. Ayan, very good. Pagkatapos ay ididikit. Ayan, hahawakan muna. Ayan. Hawak-hawak yung papel. Ayan, hawakan mo sila lahat uh, sa kanilang edge. Ayan, sa bandang 
sa bandang dulo. Ayan, hahawakan mo yung anim. Ayan. So, you, are, you must have created six side for your lantern. Tapos, gamit ang stapler, ay ididikit mo silang lahat. Okay, very good. Pagkatapos nun ay, uh, i-arrange mo yung kanyang magiging side into uh, resembling a star or a lantern. Ayan, very good. Pagkatapos, nakikita ba yung hinahawa ko na part? So, dyan mo siya isi-staple. Okay? Repeat the same process. Ayan. Okay. Bibigyan ko kayo ng 5 minutes. Pwede niyong ulitin yung video so that you can follow through. Or ipapakita ko ulit sa inyo while waiting for 5 minutes kung ano yung gagawin. Okay. Sige.
Okay, very good. Here you go. Your DIY Christmas star slash Christmas lantern. So kids, tandaan, you can also use colored material so that mas titingkad as ma- at mas gaganda pa yung magiging output ninyo. So that ends our J12 Arts and Craft. Thank you and see you next Sunday. Bye-bye!
this one more. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1 1. Genesis 1.27 So God created mankind in His own image. In the image of God, He created them. Male and female, He created them. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.27